one of the recent development in our lab has been the establishment of what's now known as the Johns Hopkins Drug Library. And this library is actually a collection of mostly FDA-approved drugs. And our goal here is to actually screen this library uh, of known drugs to find uh, new therapeutic indications. There's a very important reason uh, behind this, uh, for doing this, uh, because drug discovery and development is a costly and a long-lasting process. It's been estimated that now it takes, on average, um, over a billion dollars and over a decade to discover a single new drug from start to finish. So by discovering a new pharmacological activity of a known drug, actually we can shortcut this process by reducing the cost and the time that's required to find a new drug. Indeed, actually, one of the drugs we recently discovered from the drug library, a known antifungal drug uh, as a novel inhibitor of angiogenesis, in fact, has quickly entered phase two human clinical trials for treating both lung cancer and prostate cancer. So the ultimate goal of our research really is to use our knowledge and the insights uh, into the mechanism of action of existing drugs and small molecules to really facilitate the process of translational medicine to quickly discover um, new treatment for uh, new human diseases.